Hi, welcome back to another episode on the Budget Mini Clubman. Right, so I left you last time with all the inner repairs done and basically we're pretty much ready to start mock fitting the, the quarter. I did place it in the aperture and like I mentioned to you, it does fit quite well. It needs tapping around a little bit around there, but other than that, you know, it's, it's no biggie really. So what we're gonna try and do today is we're gonna try and get all of this in body color and we get everything ready so that the rear quarter can go in. Um, I'm not gonna weld the quarter in for about a week or so because I'm hoping I might have just be able to sort a spot welder. So it'd be really nice to give it a bit of a practice on this and get used to using it and then obviously we can finish the rest of the car with the spot welder and crack on with the 89 a bit better with the spot welder. So for now, I'm literally gonna get it in paint. I'm gonna get it all ready to go. It gives paint a bit of time to harden off. Um, I'm going to tackle it in the exact same sort of way I tackled the seal, so I'll mask off all the areas I've done in zinc primer where the panel's going to go and then obviously paint the rest of it in the bronze yellow. So I'm going to take the chance while I can to get in here, paint all of that. Everything then is ready to go body colour and that peace of mind's there that it's all protected the best it can be and plus when you come to paint the car you're never getting in there. So if we're doing a colour change, let's do it properly. So. Yeah, uh, I'll flip around now and we'll have a proper look at what needs to be done. There really isn't much. All of this is pretty much done. I think I have to trim a little bit more of this off here just to get the quarter to sit flush. All of this is prepped, all of this is prepped. This is obviously all new. So we've got a bit of work to do down the back. So I'll bring over now and we'll have a look at that. Right, so like I said, all of this is ready to go. This is all seam sealer. That's all in primer. The repair here been seam sealed that's all in primer all nice and solid does need cleaning back but we'll sort that out after back here you see I've still got to trim back what's left of the quarter um, and like I mentioned unfortunately the quarter doesn't come up quite high enough on this area so what I'm gonna have to do is fit the quarter weld it to this section and then just make a little piece to go in there but if you remember we got the outer skin the bit of this with this panel so I should have the profile to just make that little piece to come off there. So that's the plan with that. Obviously I've sorted out all this arch as well. That's all ready to go. And we just need to trim back the rest of the quarter all the way up there, just to get it all ready. And what I'll do is I'll then paint all of this, all of this that you're never gonna see again, all of this, all in body color. And yeah, we can really get, well, it'll be nice to see some color on it again, so. Because I actually love that color and I cannot wait to see it on the car again. So I'm gonna stick you on a time lapse. We'll get all this cleaned back. And then the next you'll see of me is I'll bring the quarter in and we'll see how it fits. All right, so I'm literally gonna use a flat disc just to clean this edge back so I don't damage this back panel because it's really, really good. Right, so I've got the quarter pretty much where it's gonna to need to be. Uh, needs pulling tight in a few places. Got a nice gap there, a little bit too big there, but that's where a bit more rot was. So I've cut out, I can always bridge that there, so I'm not bothered by that. I have heard that this needs tapping back on these pattern panels, and you can feel there's a gap there. So what I'll do is, this edge will have to be plug welded regardless. So I'll just plug weld, tap, plug weld, untap it all the way down. It fits really nice there, back in with that profile, does need just tapping back a little bit. To go right back flush, 
Uh, all the way along here, fits quite good. It fits really nice here with the panels we put in. So that obviously just get welded from there. I'll bring you in a sec to show you that in a bit more detail, but it's like a little triangular shape that I've got to make, so I'm not too bothered by that. Again, be fine to weld there. And all the way down there fits pretty nice. I mean, there's a few areas where it just needs tweaking a little bit more. So like I mentioned, I do want to try and spot weld this in, but really, if I get the time, I'll just crack on with it and plug weld it. So it's just as good at the end of the day, it just means tidying it back. But I'd like to try and save myself that time if possible. But we'll see, I just want to get this panel on. I want to get this car, it sits outside, so I want to get it you know, as together as possible. So yeah. Right, so you can see this little section here. What I might do is cut out this. There's a little bit of surface rust here. So I might just cut this out and put a piece in. So it won't be, it'll be a bit of, I guess it's gonna be a bit annoying to make, but it's one of them. The panel doesn't come up high enough and the car is more rotten than, than we thought. So I'll sort that out, that is not a problem. So all the way up here, there's a bit of a gap, but I have heard so it just taps in fine and try the door on and stuff but all the way down there is absolutely flush really happy at that if anyone remembers this car from before i mean that is just a nicer sight altogether so it lines up really good so we'll see how we get on i'm pretty happy with it i mean it's not the final fitment but it will do for a trial fit fits quite nice it's down here I have just got to push it out a little bit from the back because you can see there it's not quite coming out enough so it lines up really nice with this swage line as well so it follows nice with that curve so obviously there's a seam trim that goes on here I burnt through here grinding it so I'm gonna have to build that up with a little bit of weld and then grind it back but obviously the seam cover covers that so yeah going on from that I did have a little bit of dig down here I got a bit giddy yeah, might have put a repair section in here. We've got a balance. That's going. They're ugly and I hate them. And we'll relocate that somewhere else. Uh, yeah, it's had a bash in the back. So there's been a little panel put in from the other side, but this is all bent. So I might have to buy the panel that goes along there. It's not what we want to hear on a budget. But at the end of the day, it's got to get done right. So yeah, like I say, that needs to go in and that needs to come out, but it looks really good. I'm pretty happy with that. So. Right guys, so you saw me basically, I've reprimed all this I've done the repair at the back corner that you saw originally. Um, I didn't film that, I literally just cut up a bit of metal, which was actually an offcut off our new floor pan. So again, you can save your, save your pennies there. Um, bent up and put that in the corner. It's just a little, little ledge basically. It just needed something for the bottom of the rear quarter to weld onto. So that's done. Obviously it'll be seam sealed and you're never gonna see it again. It's right in the corner of the boot. Um, and I always go around the corners of the boot seam sealer anyway. So that's that done. You saw me then, I've heated up the metal a little bit of the heat gun, I'll go and do it again. Just helps the paint adhere a little bit. Um, all this is primed, all this is ready to go. I've masked off where I'm gonna weld, because obviously you want a clean service to weld to. Um, whether I plug weld or um, spot weld this yet, I don't know yet. Really depends how impatient I've become. Right now I really just wanna get the car back together, so you never know, you might see an episode soon with me plug welding it. But for now, I want to give it the best treatment as possible and let's get some colour on it. I love this color. I really love this color. 
Right, so that's about all I've got time for today. So we are literally ready, car-wise, to put the quarter on now. So it's just a case of, will I do it with a spot welder or will I not? So everything's in prime that's gonna be welded, like mated to. Everything else that I'm never gonna see again is now in body color. So really, really happy. I hope you can see the reasons why I want to do this. I, I genuinely think it's gonna be better for the car. And it also gets in areas where I would normally be able to. Like obviously on that side, I'm just gonna have to do the best I can. But while I've got this open, why not? So I've not obviously gone all the way in because the car will get painted, but I've just dusted where I'm never gonna get the spray gun basically. So obviously all behind here, you're never gonna see any of that again. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, bit of a short update, but it's quite a good update because number one, you get to see color and number two, we are ready for the quarter now. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell as well because it will notify you anytime I put a video up. I do try to get two to three out a week. Um, obviously that always depending on what's going on in my life, but I really, really do push for that every week and it does you know, really get me to come out here even when it's cold and raining or whatever to get you the videos and to get me the progress. So yeah, thanks for watching about you guys, the support and the comments. It wouldn't drive me as much. So little things like this, seeing a bit more color just keeps, keeps making you want to go. So yeah, catch you in the next one guys. Thanks for watching.